Hi, I'm Sam from Website Right, and on this video I wanted to talk to you about getting an SSL certificate for your website. Now, this is really important now because browsers like Google Chrome are flagging up insecure websites. Now, previously you just went onto a secure website, you'd see the padlock in the address bar and it'd be great. You'd go onto your bank, it'll have one. Make a financial transaction online from a site with some kind of credibility, it will have a padlock. But now, all sites are expected to have them, even on Google Chrome, you'll have that little message in the address bar saying website is insecure and other browsers are following suit. Its search engine algorithm as well will check for an HTTPS padlock in the address bar. So you need it because it could put you ahead of your rivals. But once you've got an SSL certificate and you've installed it, how do you make WordPress display the little padlock there? Now, sometimes it might just work automatically, which is great if it does. There are three key steps you need to follow though. Firstly, changing your core URL to HTTPS rather than HTTP. There's a cheeky plugin you can download that will go through all your references and make sure they're secure. I'll tell you about that. But also, once you've done so, there may still be some errors which are preventing your padlock from appearing. So in this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot all of that and get your padlock showing. So I'm going to be using the following website called The Lawn Ranger to demonstrate what I'm doing here. So on the server, the SSL certificate is installed, but we haven't told WordPress to use HTTPS. So that's the first thing we're going to do now. So let's log in to the dashboard of WordPress. And the first thing we need to do is go into your settings menu and then go to general. Now at the moment, it will say HTTP, but we need to add an S. So let's just pop that in there. and then we'll click Save Changes. Now, brilliant, we can see at the moment the padlock uh, is now there. Now, it will force you to log in again, so just enter your login details again, and we can see the padlock is there to be seen, which is wonderful. So this will mean that throughout your website now, it will be using HTTPS. So any links that have not got HTTP or HTTPS specified will be picking up this, which is great. So if we actually open the website on another window there, well, we can see that it's HTTPS and all the links are as well. But unfortunately, the SSL is not appear the actual padlock isn't appearing at the top there so there are a couple of things we need to do to sort this out firstly what i would suggest is go to your plugins and go to add new and what we're going to do is download a plugin called really simple ssl now what this will do is it will try to find as many links as possible that refer to http and make sure an S is on. Now, of course, it's not just your own website, it's any third party services that you might be using. So maybe you use analytics or you've got live chat or certain JavaScripts. Every single source that it comes from needs to be secure as well. And if they're not, then unfortunately they are going to produce an error. Now, obviously you cannot control the content on third party websites, but hopefully they'd have an SSL and it would work for you. So anyway, I've downloaded the plugin and I can now migrate to SSL, so it's just a case of clicking, go ahead, activate SSL. Right, there's a load of plugins that need updating, we'll have to sort that out later on, but however, yep, yeah, that's been done now, so let's now go back to our website and press refresh. And excellent, what that's now done is it's put the padlock in the address bar, so it's actually seen that all the references have been successfully changed, which is great. So we're gonna go through from page to page now. Yep, all looking good. Uh, but one of the final things I would recommend is to just find an area of white space on your website. And in Google Chrome, at least, you can do this on other browsers, but I'm demonstrating this using Google Chrome. Right click and then click inspect. And then go onto the console tab. And this will show you any, ah, look, we've actually got some mixed content. So it says the page, HTTPS, was loaded over HTTPS, but requested an insecure style sheet. So it's referencing Google Fonts, HTTP. Uh, so we need to find out where this is and change the reference to HTTPS here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download a plugin called String Locator 
Now you can just go into your admin of your website and then go to plugins, add new, and of course you just do the usual and then search for string locator. The actual plugin looks something along the lines of this. So simply install it and once you have installed it, you'll see a tools menu and then on it will be string locator. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually search for that bit of text. So it's fonts.googleapis. Um, and we're gonna click search and we're gonna search the whole of our WordPress directory. We could just search through the theme if we wanted to, but we'll search the whole WordPress directory just in case and try to track down where that reference may be. So yeah, you can see there are a number of there are a number of references to fonts.googleapis.com. However, this top one, look, HTTP. So this is the one that needs to be changed. So we can actually click edit right there. And yeah, there we go. Change it to HTTPS and then click save changes. Right, so let's go back to our website. Just gonna do a refresh now and then right click and go to inspect, go to console. Uh, and all of the errors are gone. So this will give you a nice clean score with Google. It, it will see that your website is completely secure. And yeah, as I say, it is a crucial part of the algorithm these days. So it's really important just to make sure every single page bears that SSL certificate. And of course, for users who are surfing your website, it gives them peace of mind too. If you found this video helpful, do click the like button, the thumbs up or whatever it is. Click subscribe and I'll see you again very soon with another WordPress tip.